has been very kindly consented to and organized by the master and school authorities. And uh, I'm not going to say much about what the session is going to be like, but I leave it to you to take whatever good things you can learn from this session. And uh, before we go into the actual session, we have a resource person here. He is Mr. Paramprit Mahaja.
We feel as if we are not progressing anywhere in the life, but we are actually progressing. We can't see the progress. You see, until all this progress is within the progress outside cannot be seen. You can write that down there. Until all this is the progress within the progress cannot be seen outside. That is the change has to come from where? From within. But where from within? Where from within? Does anybody have an answer? What needs to change within? We have heard this every single time. Big scholars, big saints and big speakers saying changing from within. What do you think is that within? Where is that within? Is it in your mood? Is it in your body? In your tummy? Is it in your legs? Is it in your heart? Is it in your brain? Where does that change need to come from? Does anybody have the answer? Yes? Mindset. But is your mind set? Or is it always fluttering around? Is your mind set or is it always fluttering around? What do you think? That's the simple answer. But is it set? Like you are sitting on a chair right now, so you are set on the seat. You are not moving on much, right? You feel comfortable, you feel grounded. But do you think that your mind is set? Oh, that's the problem. You see, that is what was, I was looking for. I was looking for those answers. How can I make my mind stable when somebody is shouting at me? How can I make my mind stable when somebody is teasing me? How can I make my mind stable when somebody is pulling me down? How can I make my mind stable when I have a financial issue? How can I make my mind stable when I have relationship issues? How can I make my mind stable when I have health issues? How can I make my mind stable when I am having any kind of problems? Hello, are you here with me? Don't you think we need stability in our finances? We need stability in our relationships? We need stability in our health? Let me tell you a secret which I have come to follow in yoga classes. If you don't have balance in your life in these five areas of your life, are going nowhere in your life. Until or unless you don't have first thing, spiritual balance. That means you know yourself so much within that nothing outside can hurt you. That nothing outside can hurt you. So spiritual balance. Write that down. These are the five steps. These are the five pillars. Just like you have four legs in your chair, I am talking about five legs now. So the first thing which you need to have balance about in your life is the spiritual balance in your life. If you don't have a spiritual life, anybody can't tell you anything and your goal is there, your aim is there, your vision is there and you feel like, I don't think I can do it. Because people are saying I cannot do it. So for that you need spiritual power. You don't need the money power, you don't need the muscle power, you don't need the looks power, you don't need the force power, you don't need the good looks power, you need what? Spiritual power. That is the first revelation for the truth which came to me. So the first step is spirituality. The second step is finances. You need financial balance in your life. Do you agree? But how much of finances? A lakh, a crore, a billion, a trillion, how much of finances? When are you going to be content? When are you going to be satisfied? So you have to make an aim for that for yourself. So much so that you go across the line and you become so greedy that you bring about an imbalance in your other fields. So this third field is relationship. You don't become so greedy in your life that you forget your relationships, you forget your family, you forget your friends, you forget your spouse, you forget your everybody else. You see, there's a balancing, right? Nature also tries to balance itself. It's rain. When it's too hot, it starts raining. When it's raining a lot, something like what happened over the last few weeks? It wasn't raining. So it's a balance. Everything's trying to be in balance. But do we have a balance? Do we have a balance? So we are here. If you are not physically healthy, when I was in class 5, 
and I was quiet. I was panting, not able to breathe at all. I ran down and slept onto the bed and I was not able to breathe. I was not able to talk. I was not able to take on any voice. But I kept quiet because I was scared of the women's head. They get, they scold me, they shock at me. I kept quiet till class 12 and every time I was trying to find out why is my back hurting so much. And I was at the lower back, which hurts a lot because you have to sit down and study pain. And that's when I realized that I have to improve my health. I started doing yoga from a very young, early age. Sometimes yoga helped me, but then I joined the machine in college. And I was doing gymming every single day. I was building my muscles. I was building my back muscles and I was building my tummy muscles. I was not going for the six packs. I was not going for the six packs, but I wanted my muscles to be stronger. Are you getting me? Because just like in a tent, have you seen a tent? Then just like this and like this. And in between you have the rods or the poles or the bamboo. But if you have not tied the tent right nicely, what happens to the tent? If there is a wind, it flutters. It goes left and right and it water also. Right? Am I audible? Okay. Now the thing is, I wanted this muscle and this muscle to be tied strong enough so that my tent, my backbone is the tent. It can be supported. If I don't have a front rope and a back rope tied, then the back becomes like what? It slouches. So I started working on my health. I started doing gymming. I started swimming. I started playing badminton. I started playing table tennis. I started playing squash. And now I was also competing. So I had to take care of my health also. But I was not there about thinking about winning. And the last thing is, your mental and emotional health, write that down. Your mental and emotional health. If you don't have balance in these five aspects of your life, and by the way, any one aspect, if it's weaker, it will affect the other four. Have a look at your copy. If your relationships are not good, you will not feel like, what am I running for? Who am I running for? Why am I running so much? And if your health is not good, you have a lot of money. You see, billionaires are there, some billionaires, they have so much of money, but they can't even have a rasgulla. Why? Because they got diabetes. So they can't even enjoy the food. Because when they were earning, they were spending so much of time only in earning that they forgot about the health. So I am talking about holistic greatness. Are you there with me? I am talking about holistic greatness. The whole time in my life went about searching for these answers. I kept on reading, reading, I kept on reading, kept on searching for answers. Yes, I wanted money, but I wanted to make myself stronger again. So then I asked myself a question when I came across spirituality. What happened to the child who was so young? You see, you all were young, right? You all were one year old, two years old. Did anybody jump a little bit with? Is anybody who jumped? No? You came from class 1, class 2, class 3 and you were 1 year, 2 year, 1 3 year, 2 year, 5 year, right? Nobody has jumped over here. Wonderful. You are a jumper? You jumped the classes? I was given the choice to jump the classes, but I am talking about the age factor again. You see? I am talking about the age factor. Nobody turns from 5 year old to 10 year old, certainly. So everybody grows and everybody grows from that simple little child. Were you simple? Hello? When you were younger, you were simple. Then what you were right now? Or you were more complicated when you were younger? You were simple. Then, what happened to you? What happened to you guys? Where is that simple person? Weren't you happier then? Weren't you simple? Did you have ego? Did you have jealousy? Did you have greed? Did you have criticism? Were you criticizing each other when you were young? Were you competing? Not much. Were you comparing that thing? Then what happened now? What changed? What changed in you? Where did this all negativity come for you? You see, you were that beautiful being. You were that beautiful being inside your body. Just your body has become bigger. Not the mind within. Are you there with me? Then I realized the truth is that I am different from my body. When I say my body, that means somebody is saying that somebody is the owner of this body, right? Just close your eyes for a second or two. Just close your eyes and say to yourself, my body. 
realize something? That your body is separate from the owner. If you say my copy, that means copy is not you. Copy cannot say I the copy. Can you say I the body? You say my body. You say my wife, my house, my car. That means they are separate from you, right? That means there is some entity within your body which is saying that this body is being owned by you. Who can that be? Can does somebody have an answer? Who is that entity who owns this body? Soul. Pardon? Soul. Soul? Beautiful answer. If you have come till here, you have already won the journey of spirituality, my friend. Congratulations. Pack yourself. Seriously, pack yourself. Because nobody in this world is going to pack you. Nobody in this world is spiritual enough to appraise you. Nobody in this world is spiritual enough to tell you that you are good enough. You don't feel like doing certain things in 
So anybody who is thinking you are wrong, you understand Vechara. What do you say? Vechara. He doesn't know himself, he is frustrated, irritated inside, that's why he is a bully. That's why he is a bully. Because he is talking self-talk, his software is corrupt. What has happened to his software? When she left the church for a greater purpose in life, 
When you don't have the money, what do you have with you? You have Atma Vishwas. And how do you increase Atma Vishwas? Which is the second one is by talking to yourself. Remember, I told you, nobody is going to appreciate you. Nobody is going to tell you anything. They might appreciate your physical looks, they might appreciate your life, they might appreciate your home, they might appreciate your clothes. But that is not the real you. And that is the truth which I came to know. That I have to stop focusing on my physical self. Because that is what Einstein was only able to use 10 to 15 percent. Why? Because the physics remaining focus was where? On the physical self. And that's where our energy goes. Take out your hand right in front of you like this. Any hand, left or right doesn't matter. This is you, the soul, imagine. And when you are comparing yourself with somebody else, this is you, the energy, the soul. When you are comparing yourself with somebody is it concentrated? When you compare it? No. It is going to the other person. You are sitting right in front of your book, but in your mind, in your third eye, this is your one eye, this is your second eye, and the eye of visualization is your third eye. In your third eye, you are thinking about that person. You are comparing, he is more looking than me, he is more permanent than me, with a nice smile, and you say, I don't want to have a dad, I don't want to have a dad, I don't want to have a dad, and when you are thinking all those things, Energy is going there. When you're jealous of somebody, when you're jealous of somebody, the same energy is focused on that person. You are depleting your energy, it's like a bucket of goals. And that's where you're like, I'm not able to focus. I'm not able to get good marks. I don't know why I'm not feeling good right now. And you feel jealousy here, you feel nervousness here. Unhappiness, unworthiness, peacelessness in that song. 
Will it leave you? It will not leave you. You see, you might think that, okay, I said something to him, so what? He's far away, not far away. Let me show you a beautiful video through which you can understand that how your thoughts have an effect on people even if you are far away from them. Miles and miles far away from them. This video is an eye opener. Thank you. 
So, 
chakra in your body. And yoga and teach chakras also. Anybody knows about chakras? Yeah? So this chakra is discontentment and happiness with yourself. It gets affected. This chakra gets affected. That's what we call tummy issues. Jealousy, tummy issues. Mental quotient. You don't have EQ, emotional quotient. Somebody says something, you're sad. 
Many of you I know chasing after girls. You want to spoil your life? When you're sitting in front of the book, you want to think about her. And bring your energies, you want to think from here or you want to think from down below. I'm very serious if you cannot talk to you like this. Because I'm not going to impart something to you over here.
cannot hold that name. He cannot put the ball in the court that day. You understand why? So if you want to put your goal in your life and reach your goals, stop messing around with other people's lives. Stop disturbing. A leader never puts anybody down. Write that down. A leader never puts anybody down. A leader never puts anybody down. is pure and powerful. 
this beautiful white energy is so pure and divine. It's a beautiful energy. It is so different from the body. It's amazingly different from the body. It is a lot of physical energy. This is the being that I am. So different from the body. I am the power which runs this body. If I, the white light, the energy leaves this physical body, this body doesn't work. It is called dead. But I, the soul, I am eternal. The mind which creates thoughts is within me, the soul. It is eternal, immortal. My intellect is immortal. It is the part of this wide, infinite energy. I also have beautiful habits of humility, patience, tolerance, kindness, helpfulness. I am supportive. is more 
Any good tune? No. So when you are not in tune, that means you want anger, grief, ego, lust, jealousy, hatred, and many negativities within you. Are you in tune? Are you in tune then? No. Then your behavior, your activity, the way you speak, there's something known as sur, and there's something known as focus on that.
Sanskrit. You are a Kumar and a woman is a Kumari. Son of Adam and daughter of Adam. So Brahma Kumar Kumari means children of Adam. So Adam was not from any particular religion. Okay? So Brahma is also not from any particular religion. Brahma is the father of all religions. Adam. Okay? So you can learn from them and suggest that otherwise you can go on Google, you can find the best books. And you can go ahead. Anybody else? Yeah. I just 
just had some glimpses today. I was able to get some glimpses and got the feedback from some boys. Uh, I could see that the server was trying to or kind of helping and guiding the boys to get into or get in touch with the inner realities, with the deeper realities or soul. spirit of teamwork, how oh, you must help your friends, giving the beautiful example of the geese, how they fly in the V shape, right? Each one can contribute towards the betterment of your friend, colleague, society. So in a way he was trying, he was accompanying you all to make a journey, to travel within and to identify yourself as who you are. It's not that you are born the externals that that define you. It is something within the soul, the spirit, which actually is your identity. That's what I, I, I mean. That's what I got the crux as I was just having a glimpse out there. And definitely, sir, thank you so much once again on behalf of everyone out here uh, for for imparting this knowledge of yours and experiences. And definitely. Uh, this, these sessions that you have taken for the boys is going to be fruitful, but the fruits should be in your life. How you apply in as part of a study, how you apply in your life, in the concrete situations of your life, that will prove that Sir's sessions with you all was really, really fruitful. So, on behalf of everyone, the entire Rotary family, I would like to wish you all the very best possible for your future endeavors, dear Sir. May God bless you with good health of body, your family members. May you continue to inspire young people like this so that they may turn out to be uh, beautiful souls, good souls in the days to come, so that they may be able to make a difference, first and foremost, in their lives, in the lives of others, in the, the society, and the nation. So, once again, thank you so much, dear sir. So having said that, I would like to request our Father Headmaster and Coordinator Rajasthapa sir to come on behalf of the school and uh, the token of love of the Tata, traditional Tata and the token of love, please.
coach and made a beautiful life ahead. And may we have such sessions ahead with the help of God and training students, father and mother teachers. Thank you so much.